Hello everyone, this is Sean, and welcome back to episode number 9 of our RimWorld Alpha 15 Knife's Edge Let's Play. We're playing on Cassandra Extreme Permadeath with a self-imposed no turret challenge for our tribal colony. It is the 4th of summer, and when we left off, the pawns of Knife's Edge were facing a psychic ship that dropped out of the sky. This is so breaking news that even you didn't know, because I turned off the recording, and before I could hit pause, this dropped down. So... Uh, about one second ago. Uh, let's find out what's going on with this psychic ship. This is going to be a challenge. Jump two, and of course it's as far away, as far away as could be. Thank you, Cassandra. You're my hero. Well, how are we going to address this with our tribal, our tribal pawns? We don't have a longbow, but we do have an assault rifle and a, not a sniper's rifle, but a uh, survival rifle. I'm going to guess that there's going to be three, maybe two centipedes and a scyther that come out of there. It's going to be really hard to, uh, really hard to deal with them. guess somebody could take cover behind there. Should probably build some cover over here. How far away is that? Let's see, here is mm, pretty far. 30 squares. How much range do these guys have? Uh, you don't have much range at all, do you? Guess it's not too bad. Four. Yeah, it's not great though. Whoops, I didn't really want to put that there. Finally learning a hotkey or two. Good to know. Um, let's see, what other pawns? Yeah, how much range do you have? Uh, I guess I have to draft you first. There we go, and then I do that and then I do that and that and then you have a range of 37 so you can definitely hit that far away uh, and who has the assault rifle is that Jen Jen just has a bow so it must be leopard and leopard you have a range of um, we're gonna go from there that's probably not the right way of doing it so 31 we'll say so you'll be able to shoot from that location but nobody else really will and it'd be nice if I could use this lake to my advantage but I can't uh, but it would be nice if I could just just FYI I don't really see anywhere else to set up a uh, uh, defensive area other than here I guess I could do three there so I could do two posts with a sandbag in between so let's do that oh, too bad I can't do anything stronger than a wooden wall they're gonna sh shred up that wooden wall can't really double it I guess what I can do is build a, another little bunker back here. And uh, for security, we'll put sandbags in there. And maybe there too. Can't put it there though. Uh, I don't know if having it in front is gonna help, but I'm gonna put it there anyways. Hmm. Maybe mine, mine this out. So then I can fire from uh, from here. So I don't really need to mine that then. All right, let's 
make that our plan. We can go ahead and undraft these guys. And we shouldn't waste any time in getting to those tasks. Gonna bump everybody up on the construction ladder. Need to remember to go through and fix up my priorities after, uh, actually I can, why not start fixing some of them up now? Like you aren't even a cook and you two can stay where you are. But I think one of you was at a three maybe? I guess not, I'm gonna leave you both as you are. But the construction, um, construction I need to uh, get taken care of. And somebody needs to get on that mining as well. Do I have anybody that's a high priority miner? You. So I'm going to put you there and I'll put you back down on there so that way we can get that mined out. And uh, it looks like Leonard is already working on it though. And Minoka is going to build up these sandbags. And uh, you know... They're in pretty good shape. So why don't we go ahead and assault now? Uh, Leopard can continue doing that. Um, Minoka, can I make you, yeah, why don't you construct those sandbags and we'll gather up all the rest. You are digging at granite, which is fine. Uh, hamster, why don't you just come on up here? Boy, it's going to take you forever to get up here. On the other hand, I'm going to need every one, every bit of firepower. So, And green, uh, you're definitely an important part of this plan. As a matter of fact, I think Hamster might have to go in that cave. Which is a shame with his uh, hobbledy leg. But if that's what we got to do... All right, so Minoka, you're going to stick around over here. I liked how I said this is a plan for two people, and I've got every single pawn involved in it, but that's uh, how it has to go. Oh, you move pretty slow, too. Stoned on smoke leaf, that's why. Probably not the best time for that with the alien ship, but... I'm glad that you are staying mentally fit. Uh, why don't you draft yourself? Go there, I guess. Jen. You don't have much of a weapon either. Hmm. Because I want to put hamster in this square. And... Uh, I guess I can have you hang out back here. All right, I'm gonna draft you, put you there. And can you hit the ship? You can. Can you? Nope. I think that's, oh no, 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 don't, don't shoot a green. There you go, you can definitely hit the ship. And you can hit the ship. And let's see what happens here. Oh, this is scary. All right, well, that's uh, that's good. So let's focus our fire, if we can, on this guy. Looks like he has an Inferno Cannon. He has a Charge Blaster. Well, that's not good. He has an Inferno Cannon. But if he's shooting his Inferno Cannon here, that's just fine. Because that fire is not really going to do any damage. Yikes, that was lucky. Take a screenshot here. This is like, like an exciting scene to use for our uh, cover. Uh, there we go, perfect. Our, the cover, you know what I'm saying. Thing that tells you what episode this is. I like the original one, you know, it's at the start, but uh, having this exciting battle, uh, I think, is more exciting. Um, obviously, that's why I use that word. Uh, why? I guess you can't fire there, so why aren't you just firing on the ship? That would be good. You can fire, so keep you going. 
And uh, this was not nearly as difficult as I expected it to be. I thought it was going to be a real challenge. Um, but some basic defenses. And uh, that's all it took. That's all it's taking. Oh boy, sorry. Seasick there. <laughs> Being zoomed in like that. Okay, how about I do one more? I have a few to choose from. Would have been nice if I had turned off the uh, turned off the UI on that last one. Uh oh, that's not good. Centipede, did you know I wasn't really paying close attention? Uh, not much I can do except make sure I move these guys back when they're done. Hopefully, Minoka doesn't get shot. Right, that's good. Oof, lucky. Green, just get that shot off. Move up here. Nope, go there. This green can't fire from here, so you that's right, you can fire on the ship. Now everybody fire on the ship. Good job. That was that was uh, not nearly as difficult as I thought it was gonna be. Really no serious injuries, a couple of burns, but uh, I think that's it actually. It's only burns. Yeah, great. And everybody's getting some nice combat experience. Nobody is, uh, nobody seems to be, uh, oh, extreme break wrist. Leopard, so let's let Leopard and Minoka uh, go ahead and get to whatever's gonna make them happy. Don't need them to break down. We'll let this fire burn. For anybody who's not at a break risk, yeah, all, all, all of them are unhappy. But that's why I need to get rid of this, uh, blow this ship up. There we go. Um, I'm going to have, let's see, you're going to unrecruit and you're going to, you're just moving. Why are you just moving? Oh, because you're outside of your area. Well, that's fine. You're super slow, so you can get back down there. Great. You want to consume a meal? Okay, you guys consume your meals. Hamster, it sure would be nice if I could get you to know where to store it, huh? Oh, nowhere that he can reach to store it. Well, I can fix that up real quick. I'm going to do zone area. We're going to expand the safe area. And we're going to put the gardens back in the safe area just like that. I'll do it in a big ugly swatch just to make it faster. doesn't need to be perfect. And then we're going to get this back in there. And that doesn't need to be perfect. And we'll even let him go visit that grave. So there we go. And now let's see if he can haul it. Can you haul it, please, hamster? Because it will not slow you down. Of course, it's outside of the allowed area. So you know what? You're unrestricted. Now can you haul it? There we go. I'd have been really mad if it was like, he is incapable of hauling. Good. Thank you, hamster. Now, you two. One of you is going to haul that AI core for me. And I guess it's not you, but you. Is it because it's forbidden? Let's try unforbidding it. Unforbid that as well. All right, Jen. Haul the AI core, please. Green. Haul that silver, please. Good. Now, if we ever get an exotic goods trader, I can forget to interact with him and sell this to, like, the fourth exotic goods trader we get when I finally remember how to trade. Well, that uh, turned out really well. No real injuries and an AI core, as well as a little bit of silver, some plasteel eventually when we need it, although we're not going to need it anytime soon. It's going to be a while before we get, is it machining is, the, I think, the technology for uh, taking those guys apart. Uh, but we'll leave them up there suffering for a while. This boomalope is going to spoil, but that's not really a problem considering... Uh, we're doing all right on food. I don't know what's up with the, all the stutters on the movement there. Frame rate is staying steady at 60. Uh, yeah. That, I, I haven't seen RimWorld act this way since like Alpha 9 or 10. And there used to be some weird bug that would show up. It would just show up when you got like 30, 35 pawns. Um, 
I, ha I definitely haven't seen it in an early game like this. So I wonder if it is um, some, I, I'm processing a video in the background, so I, that might be it, just running handbrake uh, to slow things down. So um, maybe I shouldn't do that. I thought, I thought my computer could probably handle processing videos and recording a different video both at the same time, but maybe that is asking too much, so. Can't, I'm still gonna get the previous RimWorld video out today, but this one might not be out till a little later, and that's really exciting for you guys to hear about because this is all in the past as far as you're concerned. And as we'll be talking about Abraham Lincoln and Ronald Reagan. Now that would be a buddy cop movie. Just a couple of Abraham Lincoln, depressive and, and super moody, and Ronald Reagan, like, really old and uh, kind of befuddled. Doesn't sound too awful, to be honest. And, yep, they're just running around. Almost getting that research done. How do I have, do I probably still have their priorities mixed up? Uh, let's get those constructions back to level four, where they belong. Everything else, I think, is going to be all right. Still can't tailor anything, but have that set up to a higher priority. Shouldn't be too much more hauling and cleaning to be done. So I guess it's just a matter of... Uh, I don't really want to give them any more construction instructions. I guess I could be uh, building some uh, some high-end furniture. Uh, or I don't know how high-end it's going to be with... Uh, ah, they're both in the tens. It's, uh, it'll be plenty good enough. Let's build up some equipment racks so we can sell those off. Just do them down the middle of this aisle here. These 30 wood each. I have a lot of wood. That should be fine. What's in these cargo pods? Oh. Artillery shells? Yeah, I guess. They're worth something. Might as well leave this up here. There's really no point tearing it down. Debris from a war gone by. wonder how these normal, normal, superior, shoddy, normal, poor. So I think we're supposed to deconstruct shoddy. Normal, probably not gonna deconstruct poor. I don't know if he should or not, but I'm gonna. These zones have gotten kind of beaten up in the uh, since when we started and I laid them all down, but they are doing a good job of clearing out the wood as it matures. I don't have any zones over there or anything, and it's kept me kept me with plenty of wood and I haven't had to tell anybody to cut anything down. So uh, I'm real happy with how that's worked out. Glad I kind of figured, I think somebody else pointed, or I, I based it off of what somebody else pointed out. I think they pointed this out as just an effective way of clearing. Well, yeah, that's what I just did. Yeah, so thanks to whoever pointed this out. So I didn't come up with it on my own. I got it from Reddit. Other things I got from Reddit, I do kind of tempted to actually try having some animals in this game under very specific conditions. Those specific conditions being that they would be restricted to the outside of my base and uh, couldn't come in and they would just forage off of the land. Uh, so like chickens or cats. Um, but I was thinking maybe these boomalopes, maybe I can tame these boomalopes. Those would be awesome to have as a defensive force. Um, uh, I wouldn't mind them starting fires. Uh, but we just had a heat wave sweep through. So I that's why I paused it for a second there. And uh, uh, it's because I'd forgotten how to play this game. And I still can't quite remember. There it is, temperature, passive cooler. I need to throw a couple of passive coolers in my uh, kitchen there. And I'm going to throw a few of them in here as well because people do not like being overheated. You know, I'm 
Should I be concerned about Mortis? Uh, I should because he'll get heat stroke and die if I am not. Uh, so, and I'm gonna throw a couple in here too. It's gonna take a while uh, to build up, but uh, I will build them up. So I think I can go back to top speed at this point. 112 degrees already. So it must not be a lot of hauling to do if uh, he's bringing steel from way over there in the yonder. Keeping our garden area clear. Oh, an eclipse. Hmm. So heat wave during an eclipse. 130 degrees. Whole. That is hot. Thought the average temperature was supposed to be, uh, you know, whatever, whatever the average temperature is supposed to be. 87 degrees. How hot is it inside? 82, that's good. This is a, a hospital, it doesn't matter. 84, that's good. You're super hot in here. I uh, really need to, uh, really need to get those evaporators built. There we go. Is it gonna cool down at all? It's not having enough of an effect. Oh, it's cooling down way too slow. So let's build a few more of these things. Hopefully that will do it. I like how all the weapons got moved up into those weapons racks. And you know what? I'm going to actually move these directly into... Oh, you can't, you can't move them? Oh, I should have built them in the bedroom so they could cool the bedrooms. And then, uh, you know, this room would be cooled as well. But, like, I, I'm trying to get rid of the sleep, sleeping uh, problem. Um, I slept in the heat, you know. Oh, yeah, it's down to 70-something. 70, 70 okay, good. All right. Raid a group of pirates attacking immediately. So, oh boy, that looks like seven pirates attacking. And I have five pawns to defend with. So what are we, oh my, wow. You have grenades. You have a gladius. You have a pistol. And you're attacking the sarcophagus. I guess that's outside of my uh, normal area. Wouldn't mind your charge rifle. Rifle, you're trying to set a fire, huh? And then a bunch of uh, sniper rifles, which will be handy if I can manage to get them. Um, gonna let those guys get a little closer. Uh, but then we are going to end the episode because uh, we've only got like a minute left on the timer, and um, I think we can end it at this point. So, some real excitement for the pawns of Knife's Edge. What are they going to do? Well, they are going to fight these fight these guys. So they're coming down this way. Maybe over towards here. I don't really have any uh, defensive areas set up. It's kind of a mistake. But I can have people attacking from each of these doorways to draw their attention. Or I could attack from these doorways, which worked pretty well with the last ones. So, you know, let's just draw everybody up into this central area. And uh, let's look through their weapons real quick to make sure everybody has a decent weapon. Since, since we do have all the weapons piled up here, you know, I don't really see anything worth switching over to yeah, so uh, I am going to keep the weapons as they are. There's nothing down here. And yeah, that is going to be the end of this episode. Um, if you have enjoyed this episode, click the like button, please. That tells the world that you enjoyed it or that at least somebody enjoyed it. Um, and uh, subscribe. Subscribe to my channel so you can see additional videos like this. Tell your friends to watch. And uh, leave some comments down below where we can engage in a social manner. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.